let the audience, let the viewers and the listeners know about your campaign. Let's give us an update. What's happening? Go ahead, Jamie. Well, I mean, pretty much um, what's happening is that our, um, how could I say, our, we're going out there and we're trying to touch, you know, we know that the Republicans are going to work, work uh, come and vote, okay? And what we're trying to do is we're trying to change a little bit and go and touch the swingers, okay? And also the go and votes. touch those uh, Democrats that vote in the primary, right. okay? Because they're very involved, right? Mm -hmm. And they usually, you know, are informed of what's going on, right? And have that one-on-one -on -one time to tell them exactly what we're exposing right now, who Joe Biden really is and who Harris really is and what they're, you know, if they truly are trying to, you know, um, know what's going on, the truth, and they need to be aware of it, okay? Yeah, the evilness. So my, excuse me? The evilness that's going on right now, the evilness, and the, 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 and the, the deceit. You're deceiving, and then they're also, they're lying to the, the, to the voters, too, as well. They're lying to your vote. Right. They are. I hope you're. I hope they you're are, telling. I hope you're telling yeah, them that. They definitely are. I hope you're telling them that, Jamie. I hope you're telling them that you're lying about your vote. I hope you're telling them that. Oh yeah. So go ahead. They are, and so I mean, so I need people. I need people to go to my website, and that's jamieblancoforcongress.com. That's J A I M Y. B L A N C O for Congress.com. I need you to sign up as volunteers. Even though you're not in Texas, you could be anywhere in the nation. As long as you can pick up that phone and call people, uh, you know, write emails, anything that we may need. You're, if you're home and you're just, you know, you have a lot of time in your hands, call me, um, you know, and go into my website. My phone number's on there, and also you can email us on there because we need you. We need you to rise up and be that army, be that soldier that comes and, and does something about this. And if you love America, then you will get up and you will fight for her because that is exactly what we are doing. We are fighting for our generations to not be in this darkness and that they will, you know, never experience what it's like to not have guns and all that, you know, stuff that comes with the, uh, with everything, liberty that we have. Right. And here's a, here's a great point you should say. Do you want America to become a Venezuela or do you want this country to become a, the free nation, the greatest nation on God's green earth, be the superpower of the world to embrace freedom to have liberty pursuit of happiness and you jamie blanco you are a fighting lady of liberty remember that don't let anybody else discourage you yes we are that's what we're doing we are we are doing the will of god yes sir no other broadcast is going to say that you're a lady of liberty that's for darn sure that's that 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 is given. I mean, they don't talk about that, do they? No other networks want to say, "Oh, we have a lady of liberty here." Do, do they ever say that in network? Have they ever? Has Fox News ever say once, "We have a true lady of liberty," or a true or someone in the military saying, "We have a fighting lady of liberty." Do they ever say that, you know, or or fighting uh, patriot men, you know? Do they ever say that? No, they don't. No. No, they don't. They don't. They, I don't know why. I don't understand why they don't do this. I thank God I was involved with. I think I'm involved with the uh, VFW. Uh, my my American my uh, I, VFW stands for Veterans of Foreign War, by the way. And I learned so much from my Honor Guard commander. I learned so much from. My, from my Honor Guard commander Jim Weaver. I learned so much from 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 this. Uh, from, from this, from this warrior who is a patriot, who is a fighting patriot for freedom, he was a um, he was an army ranger, by the way, in a in a platoon during Vietnam. He he got shot three times, by the way, and he survived. 
You're my honor guard commander. He's the nicest person you ever come ever if you ever meet. The nicest guy you'll ever come across. And he, I mean, he opened me up to all kinds of. Um, he was like a professor for me. He really was. He was a professor for this broadcaster, not just for me, but for this broadcaster to get into broadcasting. He opened the doors up. You would not believe. And he sat me down for four hours and going through what I need to do to become a professional broadcaster. He was the one who actually helped me do this. And I, I, I just can't thank God enough for this because it wasn't for my mentors that I have. I won't be able to do what I'm doing right now and to have you on or to have anybody else um, having saying that we have a lady of liberty or a fighting patriot, uh, a, a fighting, a, a fighting patriot warrior. You, you don't hear about that, do you? On fight on Fox News or any or any fake news outlets, media on television, do you? You don't hear about that, do you, Jamie? Mm -mm. It's sad, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's so sad. sad. And like I said, I this this I get this is a gift from God. This network. Is a truly gift from God. It's not in my network, Jamie. It's not my network. This is a gift from God. I keep telling the people this. This is a gift from God. It really, truly is. That's why I, I it's, you know, I was hoping, I was wrong. Two things about Mick Romney. Mick Romney could have won, though, in 2012. If he fought and he challenged the election, he didn't do that. And But I also said that Ted Cruz was going to win in 2016. Well, he got Trump. So, anyway... Look what happened, though. The outcome of Ted Cruz and Donald Trump, they became united together. They forgave one another. How can, I don't understand how... I,